everyone and welcome back to another episode. Today we're discussing how to use Lychee's split command. I know this sounds like a really simple thing, but some folks just don't know this tool even exists and I thought it would be cool to show an episode, especially when you get weird stuff like that, where it's literally two parts that are dangled together. Well, it's very simple as you see. You simply, uh, on the layout tab, you don't even have to go into the prepare tab, you can select the item itself. And you're going to go all the way down to the little thing that looks like a pair of scissors. It says tools. You're going to click on that. And one of the tools there is called split. The other one is the planar cut, which is more applicable when you're trying to actually cut a physical object in half. Um, I've noticed one of the side effects of this is sometimes it will produce weird artifact objects you are actually safe to delete those in most cases. Uh, they don't seem to be much of any issue. Again, the tool is on the layout tab. You want to go all the way down to nearly the bottom. It's a pair of scissors and it's one of the tools there. It's called split. Um, it is not the pair of scissors. The pair of scissors is actually planar cut, uh, but planar cut is one of the tools in the toolbox, if you want to say in the layout tab. And that, that is one of the tools that allows you to cut things in half, whereas split allows you to separate parts. And mostly it's for objects that are floating apart from each other, kind of like these horns here that I'm looking at for uh, the Lilith bust. Now, the obviously the object of split is to split things up into multiple parts. Whereas planar cut, which we've covered before, is just to slice things in half. See, planar cut on an object like this, if you try to do that, Lychee doesn't see anything here to cut, and so when you hit apply, absolutely nothing happens. It goes, meh. But if you go back down to the tools again, and we choose split, it's going to split it into its parts which it says are four parts, but I mean, it's technically two parts. There might be grouped objects in each one of those parts. That is a possibility as well. But what you're left with is you're left with two separate parts that you can manipulate versus one part that has a floating part above it. And now you can choose how to work with and manipulate those parts better on your build plate. Um, so much, 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 much better way to do it. Now I've heard you can use, um, and I have used actually Mesh Mixer um, will also do this where you can bring these objects in as an STL file and you can uh, select and then extract one object from the other and then you can export them as separate STLs. That is another way to do it. Um, we may actually do an advanced tutorial on that where we kind of go into more of a keying and how to key an actual uh, file. Uh, that's something we're playing around with as well. Um, by the way, we've also launched a Discord community. If anybody's interested in joining, I'm going to put the details in the description uh, below uh, the video. So definitely check that out. Feel free to join us. We're definitely looking for people to have feedback on the channel, feedback on the things that you guys want to see me do videos on, um, feedback on just general stuff, and pretty much ask me any questions you guys want. So it's a great channel for you guys to have an opportunity to speak with me directly and kind of have more of an open conversation with me uh, about the stuff that we do 3D printing wise. And um, we'll even talk, show you guys like sneak peeks at uh, upcoming stuff that we've got coming to the shop. So that'll be fun for sure. Um, anyway, as you can see, this tool is repeatedly usable and has a lot of purpose. If you have a big print like this with a bunch of parts that have been multi-connected, which does sometimes happen. I've seen that a few times where you have an STL file and it's, it's you know, horns and you open it up, it's like five sets of horns literally all strung together, floating apart. And um, in that case, it's brilliant because then you simply, you know, split, all those horns just go bloop and <laughs> that's it. You're left with, um, you know, each one being a separate chunk and you're able to work with that as it is rather than um, not. And of course, as you if you want to, you can export each one as its own STL file. Um, and that way you have them separately. Uh, so anyway, that's pretty much it. That's using Lychee's split command. Very simple, uh, again, very easy. We're planning on doing some Lychee uh, beginner and intermediate and kind of advanced stuff soon. So definitely keep your eyes open for that sort of stuff. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for everything. 
please uh, keep hitting that uh, like button. Make sure you comment, and we'll see you all soon.